Hi there, it's Laura from iHeart Planners, and here I want to show you one of my favorite planning binding systems, which is the disc bound system. So if you're not familiar with this, keep watching. I'm going to tell you all about it, and be sure to hit the subscribe button below because we have lots more organizing goodness coming your way soon. So here's why I love the disc bound system so much. So it kind of puts together the best of like a three ring binding system in that it's flexible. You can add and remove takeaway pages at will, but it's not as bulky as a three ring binding system and you don't have any rings to open so it's easier to move pages around. Um, you can also flip it all the way back on itself just like you can with a spiral binding so it doesn't take up as much space on your desk or you can flip it back. Um, so I love that about it. And the basics of how this works um, is that you can take your page and just pull it gently right out. I'm not ripping this at all. If you can see, it's just got a special punch style like this um, so that it'll fit right back onto those rings. So all I do is set it right next to the rings and then I just gently push and you can even push like a whole stack of papers and that page is right back in the planner. So that's how easy it is to rearrange or add pages. All right, so let's talk about the supplies you need to put together a disc bound planner or notebook. The first thing you need is rings. So these are generally plastic or metal, like literally circle rings that hold your entire system together. You can get these in different colors or sizes. So I have like pretty silver ones, solid black ones here. Also the different, I wanna point out how they come in different sizes. So obviously this one is pretty small. They're usually sold by the diameter of the ring. And obviously this one's a lot bigger. So a smaller one's only gonna hold a few pages, whereas a bigger one is gonna hold a lot of pages. In general, you want to get the smallest ring that will still hold as many pages as you want. If you have a really large ring without a lot of pages on it, it makes the planner kind of wobbly and it's a little bit more awkward to use because the rings get more in the way. So as small as you can get away with, I would highly recommend. Also, you wanna keep in mind, you can create a disc bound notebook of any size. Like I could do one if I didn't have this cover that was just three rings and just this tall. Or for this is a standard size called a half letter size. And so this one uses eight rings or if I want a full US letter size, it's gonna use 11 rings. So just use a different number of rings if you want a different size of page. So once you have your rings, you're gonna need a cover and there's all different types of cover. This is a vegan leather style cover and it has like, it's pretty hard plastic right here so it snaps into the rings and I could, I could take this off and change it if I wanted to. In general, the covers are a little bit more effort to lift up than just a piece of paper because they're thick and designed to stay on the whole time. Um, another option is just like a thick laminated cover like this one. This is last year's Sweet Life Planner. Um, here's another cover that I got a long time ago from Staples. So there's a lot of different options out there for covers. If you have a thick laminator, you could even make your own. You could print something out, cut it, and then if you had a punch, you could punch it. Um, it is also possible. This planner would still totally work if I had no cover on it at all. I could take it off and it would still work. I don't prefer that option because I feel like the cover really protects it, but it's worth noting that it's possible to do it without a cover. So next up, you need the pages that actually go in your planner and notebook. So you can buy a planner like the Sweet Life Planner here that has the pages already completed for you and is already put together. The other option, if you wanted to create something yourself, is you could get blank pages. We actually sell these in the Sweet Life Planner shop that are already cut to size and punched if you're wanting to use the half letter size. And you could print out your own thing. You could just place blank sheets in here and write anything you want. We also have like notes pages available or dot grid kind of pages if you wanna do more of a bullet journal style or more of a free form kind of style. Um, but any pages you want, you would just place your pages inside and you can also mix and match. So you could get a planner that's already done for you, but add just a couple of things that you printed out yourself or a couple of extra note pages. So I like the ability to kind of mix and match in that department. Next up, we're gonna talk about disbound punches. Now, before I talk about the punch that I prefer, 
I want to point out that it's possible to set up a disc allowance system without ever needing a punch. So for example, if you bought the Sweet Life Planner and maybe you bought some of our pages that are already punched to go in it and just use those as your notes pages or printed things out, you would actually never need a punch. Um, but a lot of people who use this system do want to be able to add any pages that they want, punch anything. You can even punch something like an invitation that you get for a birthday party in any size. It, as long as it's not too tall, it will fit on the rings and you can punch anything. So a lot of people like to do that. There are various different options out there as far as punches. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna review every single one on this video. I'm just gonna tell you, my absolute favorite is the Arc Brand Punch. So up here it locks. So um, when I shift it to an unlocked position, it gets a lot bigger. So I like the locking feature for storage. And then it has this adjustable arm here where I can do both the half size or the full letter and um, there's a notch there that you can't see too well that shows where to put line up your paper for the different sizes. So I like being able to really easily line up my paper. Um, the junior size is what you want if you have a half letter or the Sweet Life Planner size is, Art calls it junior size. And then they have the letter, a five, various different sizes so it'll line up perfectly. Uh, it has a tray under here to collect all the things that you punch, which I like having that tray. It also just punches very nicely up to eight sheets at a time. And it's pretty easy to push down and punch and just punch cleanly. So it really works, which I love. Some other punches that I have tried are not so easy to push and will some of them will only do one page at a time which is pretty annoying if you have several pages that you want to put in my favorite place to buy this punch is actually on Amazon it's usually cheapest there super easy to get so I just bought this from Amazon one thing to note about different punches if you're not familiar with them is that the depth of the punch can be a little bit different now for most people, even if the depth is inconsistent, you're never gonna notice. But if that's really important to you, just keep in mind there are small differences in the exact shape and depth of different punches, but to my knowledge, they are all interchangeable. I've never bought a punch in the US that didn't work interchangeably with all the different brands of systems because the discs are spaced evenly in every system that I've ever seen. Next up, there are a lot of extras that are totally optional that you can get for your disc mount planner or notebook. Um, there are lots of stickers out there that are already punched to just fit right into your notebook. There are dividers, so if you want to add extra sections to your notebook like this, that's another option. Or there's a lot of extra packs out there of pages, like we have a notes pack that's super cute, a dot grid pack if you're into bullet journaling or you just want like some extra pages for doodling or writing down notes. Um, so there's a lot of different extras available. So now we're going to talk about some of the most frequently asked questions about the disc mount system. And one of the questions that I get all the time is with this system, do these pages fall out? And I totally understand because when I first discovered this system, I wondered the same thing. But the answer is they absolutely don't fall out. I can hold this planner by just one ring and shake it and like absolutely nothing is going to fall out. The way that the rings are built with the ridges keeps things securely in the planner. The only concern about, as far as things like coming out is if you were to fill these rings too full, then as you would flip through your planner, it would be pushing up on these pages and they would start to kind of flip out. They still wouldn't just randomly fall out, but they could start to pop out. So if you're having any kind of problems with that, make sure you check and make sure you haven't overfilled your rings. But other than that, perfectly secure, nothing is gonna fall out. Now, another question that I get asked a lot is where do I buy all of these different supplies, like my covers and my rings? Well, you have a few options there. If you want something like a planner that is completely done for you, has all the supplies you need, you don't need anything else, you don't have to think about it, I, of course, love the Sweet Life Planner that I created that is just a done for you, all in one, super easy. But if you're more into DIYing your planner and you want to kind of put all the elements together yourself, or maybe you want to print out your own things, then some places where you could get the rings and covers. My favorite place is online is called blitzy.com, and they just have a wide selection of covers and rings. You can also check out Staples, the Arc line at Staples, including um, this beautiful Martha Stewart line. I'm not sure if this exact color is still in stock, but they have some really pretty things and your local craft stores you can check a lot of them are starting to carry more disc bound supplies 
And another question that I get asked a lot is like, is this a big investment? How much is this going to cost me to set up a disc binding system? Um, when thinking about the cost of the system like this, one of the most expensive items that you could buy would be your punch. And the great news about your punch, while you can find cheaper ones, I like to invest in a better quality one that's going to last forever. I've had mine for five years and I do a lot of punching and it hasn't dulled, it's still working great. And so that's a one and done kind of investment. Also, um, your rings and your covers, unlike if you were to buy a spiral bound planner every year, they can actually be reused from year to year. And even elements from this planner, like these um, tabs, they have nothing dated on them. You could use these year after year. So there's a lot of different parts that you can actually reuse if you're trying to be budget friendly. And that just makes it less wasteful and more affordable. So if you're interested in printing your own pages for your Disbound Planner, a question I get asked a lot is how do I print out my pages affordably? Because a lot of the printables that I create in my Sweet Life Planner Club are super bright and colorful and I know that ink can be expensive and I do have an amazing solution for you. For about the past four years, I've used something called HP Instant Ink. A reader just told me about it and the day she told me about it, I went to Target, I bought the cheapest HP printer that they had there, which was like $60, very affordable, brought it home, signed up for HP Ink, Instant Ink, and started printing. And this thing, let me tell you, has been life-changing. So the system works where you pay a very small monthly subscription fee, and you get a quota of how many pages you can print with that subscription. And if you go over, it's just a little bit extra per page and things like that. They even have rollover pages. Um, and then they send you ink. They're monitoring your printing and they're sending you ink before you even need it. So it just shows up at your door. As soon as you run out, there's already ink in there. You don't have to worry. Very affordable. I can print out an entire year's planner, um, like 104 plus color pages for less than $5. So very doable. Um, so that's what I recommend. Um, and we'll put a link to a blog post below where I talk about my exact um, printer and all of those kind of things. All right, so I hope that helps you and introduces you to one of my favorite things, the disc bound planning system. And if you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more organizing goodness that we have planned for you.